Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you all had a great weekend. Today, we're checking out the high-end boombox. This is the $59.99 edition of the boombox. Also, a little bit later on, probably a couple days from now, we'll be checking out the Platinum Baseball Boombox. This is the $100 one. So, without further ado, let's open this up and see what we can find. By the way, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please do so if you haven't already. We'd love to have you along for all of our videos. Also, hit that thumbs up button. helps the videos out. Tomorrow, by the way, we have a live stream. We'll be doing the Fishing for Trout Mystery Packs. I bought all 100 of them, so we are guaranteed to pull the Mike Trout 2011 Tops Update Rookie Card tomorrow in a BGS 9. It's about a $2,000 card. Check us out tomorrow, probably around like 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time or so. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what we can find in this March edition of the High End Boombox. As you know, with the High End Boombox, there's typically about six or seven packs in each one. Let's see what you get this month. So starting things off, this is a nice one right here. Pretty pumped about this. A... 2021 top series one jumbo pack right there one in three chance at a hit next pack up in this month's edition is 2015 bowman draft then we have another 2021 this is a hobby pack of series one very nice two of those pumped about those we have 2014 bowman draft back again for another go around We've got Gypsy Queen. Haven't seen this in the boom box in a little while. A Gypsy Queen 2020 pack. Nice hobby pack right there. I like that one a lot. We've got an update pack from 2020. It's a hobby pack. We also have a, a hobby pack of a 2020 Heritage High Number. And at the bottom here, we have a screw down holder. And then there's the, the sell sheet for this month. So here's what's featured. 2021 for me is the one that I'm excited about. Yes, you might say, haven't you opened that like, I don't know, 30 plus hours of uh, content here so far, just with all the long live streams and stuff. Yeah, I've opened a lot of it, but still pretty happy to be able to open this up. We haven't had any 2021 products in any of our um, subscription boxes yet, I don't think. So let's see what we can find in there. One and three and a third. Uh, Gypsy Queen's one and 12 for the hits. Heritage High, 1 in 24, Bowman Draft, you can see 1 in 12. There's all their social media links. This month, they have a George Brett promo where somebody could win a George Brett autographed bat. So very nice stuff there from the boom box. Let's see what we can find. We'll start out with the packs I'm least excited about and save the best packs for last. I always like to save the packs with the highest uh, or the best odds for last. We'll start off with 2015. Bowman draft and see if we can find anything decent here. There's a Jacob Nix first Bowman. We've got a Javier Medina. Don't remember much about him. James Caprillion. Nice one right there with the Yankees. We saw his what his rookie card in 2021 tops this year, I do believe. In an A's uniform. Sean Reed Foley. There's a Trey Ball, Nelson Rodriguez, and Craig Ellis. So nothing crazy in that pack. We'll do 2014 Bowman draft next and see what we can find. Starting things off, former number one overall pick, Mark Appel, who uh, unfortunately is a huge bust. Actually, did the Pirates a huge favor. The Pirates picked Mark Appel with their first round selection. I forget what it was overall. It might have been eighth overall or something like that. But he refused to sign with the Buccos and went back into the draft the following year and was selected first overall in the entire draft. And uh, I don't think he ever even made it to the big leagues. There's a Tyler Collick, first Bowman. We've got Luis Torrens, or Luis Torrens, Bowman Chrome. And then there's a Jacob Gatewood, CJ Edwards, Trevor Story is a nice one, of course, and Grayson Griner. First Bowman is the last one in that pack. All right, so we've got the kind of the minor league stuff out of the way. Now let's go ahead and do the update pack and see what we can find. It's a hobby pack. Remember, the price point on this is $59.99. Per boom box, this is the best one in there for for my money. Of course, that's a that's a great pack right there. If you go to your local card store, you're probably going to pay about twenty five bucks alone for that pack. There's Felix Hernandez, Tyler Wade, Jake Newberry, uh, Mike Trout. Always good to find a Trout card. We might find two Trouts. There's so many Trout cards put into this set. It looks like only one in this pack, but. All right, nothing going on yet. We have four packs left to make something happen here. Let's go ahead and check out the Heritage High number. 
pretty similar for my money to 2020 update. Not really an exciting set, but maybe we'll find the Luis Robert rookie card in here, which is, I mean, at least it has that going for it. The other um, set doesn't, and it looks like we might have a Chrome card coming up. It is a Shun Yamaguchi rookie card and also a Jose Abreu purple, so it's from a hot box. You don't see that happen too often. Two Chromes in the same heritage pack. That's out of 571 for the Shun Yamaguchi. And Jose Abreu, your most valuable player in the American League in 2020. Very nice. And Luis Robert, what a pack. So that's probably the best possible pack we could have found. I, I, I don't know. I mean, of course, if there was an autograph in a pack, that would have been awesome. But a Luis Robert rookie card, for me, that's the hit of the box so far because you guys know I'm a big Luis Robert fan. But still pretty cool to find a couple um, – chrome parallels in there as well i'm just going to double check those and make sure i didn't miss an autograph all right so next up let's go ahead and check out gypsy queen the odds here are one in 12 of finding an autograph it's been a while since we've opened gypsy queen let's see if there's anything decent in here we've got a mookie Betts leading things off with his red Sox uniform there there's seager and then we have williams good old trevor williams david peralta a Tarot of the Diamond card. That's a Rollis Chapman. Those are, I think, roughly one in three packs. Didi Gregorius, Alex Young, and Josh Stalmont rookie card is the last one there. So we go to 2021. So can 2021 Top Series 1 save the box? We'll find out. Now, you know, with any subscription box, it's basically almost like a lottery ticket. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't. It's almost just like buying a few packs can't always expect to find an autograph in one of these, although I would hope to. That's wishful thinking. We did have a nice run there for a while with the Moonbox. We had like 11 months in a row with an autograph. And, you know, if we don't get one in this one, then hopefully in that Platinum Boombox, the $100 one, we'll get lucky there. But we still have our best pack waiting in the wings there. That's the Jumbo Pack. Dansby Swanson. really like the uh, Glaber Torres 1967 Tops through the years card. That's a nice one right there. I'll have to take that one out and put it with all my inserts, actually, because I might start to collect that set. As you guys know, I put the whole 2021 Tops set together, and um, I came up short of a few cards. So I had to rip open just a ton of blaster boxes looking for these few cards. It was actually pretty fun and a bit frustrating as well. Hopefully, if you haven't watched that live stream from last week, you'll get a chance to... All right, so here we go. Last pack of the day. It is the Jumbo Pack of 2021 Tops. Now, looking at the side view, I do not see a thick card, so that means if there's going to be a hit, it's going to be an autograph. Let's see what we've got going on here. There's Mike Trout, card number 27 of the set, Shane Bieber, Matthew Boyd, another Luke Voigt. So we had this almost this exact same pack there, at least those few cards. There's Robbie Ray. Like that card a lot with Luis Robert and Aloy Jimenez on there. Nico Goodrum, Marcel Ozuna, a couple Orioles there for us. Liam Hendricks, who just signed a big deal with the White Sox. Kenta Maeda, and here comes the good stuff. So if we're going to get a hit, it's going to be right around this area. So there is a Brett Garner. It's a gold foil. You can only find those in the jumbo boxes. We've got a Jorge Soler home run card. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get an autograph. There's Cal Ripken Jr. And I wish that was an autograph, folks, but that's a fake out. It's just a through the years facsimile auto. So no hit in this edition of the Boom Box. We will try to find the Alec Bohm rookie card or one of the good rookie cards at the bottom of the pack. We hope to find at least one of the good rookie cards from 2021 in here. And um, man, we're running out of time with about five cards left. Let's see if we can do it. Leo Tavares is going to be the uh, only rookie in that set. So we got the Luis Robert rookie card. Unfortunately, he didn't pull any hits, uh, major hits. I mean, those nice chrome cards were pretty nice. That's the way it goes sometimes, though. I'm hoping we get luckier coming up here on, I'm not sure when I'll do this, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. As you guys know, tomorrow for uh, Mystery Box Monday, we've got a big one. We're fishing for trout. Someone's going to come with that trout. And uh, there's some other really nice rookie cards randomly inserted in those mystery packs i think i saw the fernando tatis jr 2019 tops graded card in there and some others so check it check us out tomorrow around probably 8 p.m eastern time 100 packs mystery box monday hope you guys had a great weekend i hope to see you tomorrow and uh have a great rest of your sunday good night everybody